Chemical engineers apply the principles of chemistry, biology, physics, and math to solve problems that involve the production or use of chemicals, fuel, drugs, food, and many other products. Chemical engineers work mostly in offices or laboratories. They may spend time at industrial plants, refineries, and other locations where they monitor or direct operations or solve on-site problems. Chemical engineers must have a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering or a related field. They establish safety procedures for those working with dangerous chemicals, design and plan the layout of equipment, and estimate production costs for management. Chemical engineers must have problem-solving skills, creativity, and math skills. Being a chemical engineer is rewarding in so many ways. For me, what's most rewarding is that I get to solve problems every day. So whether it's in the field, on a rig, or in, even in the office, I'm always thinking and I'm always being able to use the skills that I've learned through school and through my job to help me with a certain problem. We look at does it catch on fire, ignitability, and we look at how much does it burn, flammability, and that way we can make sure we don't have fires in space, which we have had fires in space, and uh, out of the three major failures NASA has had, two of them were oxygen-related, Apollo 1 fire and Apollo 13. That testing not only goes to NASA where we keep astronauts safe and we keep fires from happening in NASA, but we work with the international community to pass that knowledge on, and we keep people safe in hospitals that use oxygen, that use oxygen at home, uh, in ambulances and uh, and also in the processing facilities so I get to really have that self-satisfaction when I see an old lady going down uh, the mall with her little oxygen tank that what I'm doing is helping keep her safe uh, as well as keeping the astronauts in the NASA community safe. Engineering is a good choice because engineering you you end up going into one job but you're so versatile you can do anything in the company. If you look at my career I've done recruiting, I've done field engineer, I've done training manager, I've done service quality coach, I've done so many things and now I'm in supply chain so you would never think that that would be a normal career path for somebody but by working in a large company you have all of these opportunities and you can do really whatever you want to do. I got interested in chemistry and so I started taking more chemistry classes and I thought, hey, chemical engineering sounds cool even though I didn't really know what it totally meant. <laughs> and so I started pursuing that. Then I got interested in biology type stuff so I started working in a research lab. And I think, uh, I think that's good advice for people to keep pursuing the things that you love and you'll end up finding a way to put them together. And uh, so I ended up loving research from that, research that I did in college, and taking the chemistry and the chemical engineering from that love of chemistry that I took forward. And then I ended up finding a job here where I do oxygen and toxicity stuff, which is chemistry, along with the research that I loved, uh, which figuring out how things work and being able to apply that. So if you pursue the things that you love, eventually you'll find the way to find a job, hopefully, that puts them all together, and then you're excited every day to go to work. To keep learning about chemical engineers, read through the information below.